almost an hour's worth of press conference. <laughs> and I'm watching this. And I I can I am so done with Chuck Fletcher already. Like, even if John Tortorella is great, there's something about Chuck Fletcher that I'm like, thanks, but no thanks. I I I don't know if it's just the fact that the Flyers have been terrible in his time here. Uh, I honestly, I can't put my finger on it. But there's just something about it. And I think it really has to do with the fact that the Flyers have been terrible. And the story comes out about the outside committee helping them make this higher. And I think it was towards the end of the press conference, Chuck Fletcher comes out and says, you know, this is something that, Yes, we did hire an outside committee. This is something that a few hockey clubs have done uh, throughout the uh, the league. And the NHL is starting to become a lot more like corporate America, where you'll hire the outside committees to find people to go out there and, and bring you a, a good CEO, a good you know, I don't know market manager, or whatever it might be. This is something that is just so strange to professional sports. And Chuck Fletcher tried to say that other teams do it. Okay, all right, fine. But if you're the GM and your job is literally to go out there and hire the next guy, people don't want to hear that you got to go to an outside committee to do that. That just sounds weird. Because who's to say that outside committees are going to get hired by another team soon and they're going to outdo what they did before for that new current team? They serve many people. They don't just serve you, the GM. That's why I don't trust them. And it shouldn't be that difficult to look at a guy like John Tortorella. And according to one report, the Flyers, they offered a deal to Barry Trotz. He was like, yeah, thanks. But no, thanks. I'm not going through another rebuild. And then John Tortorella ended up being the next guy in the the running there for the position. So when I listen to Chuck Fletcher talk about this outside group, I'm like, well, so they're mercenaries, basically. I'm good on that. That's what your job is as a GM. It's not just to be a guy in charge and run the team and all that stuff, you know, generally speaking as a general manager, but it's also, it's also supposed to be having guys around you that you trust your own knowledge of the sport, your own knowledge of the game, your own knowledge of these different personalities as coaches. And you got to go from an outside source, people that are going to be gone tomorrow. That doesn't sound good to me. It makes it seem like you don't really know what you're doing. Like I could never imagine really anybody, <laughs> Anybody else going out there in this city, especially not Howie Roseman, especially not Jeffrey Lurie. Yeah, no, we consulted some other people, and they said that to Nick Sirianni. Hey, it's one thing to, like, call Frank Reich and say, hey, what do you think of this guy? You know him for a long time. That's that's, one, that's using your own resources. The outside thing definitely rubs me the wrong way. 